Hey everyone, today we're going to be reviewing maple fingerboard wheels. So maple fingerboard wheels. As you guys may know, I'm a pretty big fan of oak fingerboard wheels. I've been riding them for as long as I've been fingerboarding professionally. Um, and I like them because they're urethane and they're very grippy and they're very sticky. They squeak. So I came across maple fingerboard wheels on Instagram. There's their Instagram right there. I'll also put it in the description. So I came across them on Instagram and it piqued my interest because they are offering high quality urethane fingerboard wheels in a variety of sizes, just like Oak. For you see this man? This man is someone who messed up. <laughs> They're $10 less. Bruh. And I got kind of stoked on that. So I went and ordered a pair. And this was a couple months ago. So now I'm here to talk about what I think, honest feelings on them, how they ride, everything you need to know. So let's check out the box. They come in this little white box and it pretty much tells you everything you need to know. They've got the logo right there. Maple fingerboard wheels established 2018. Um, you got the Instagram right there as I showed you before. You've got all the info on the wheels you got. I got the white ultras uh, out of urethane 65D and they're eight millimeters by five millimeters. Right here, it's actually pretty funny. It says, don't be trashy. I really like they put that on the box, lets you know that it's recyclable. I just think that's a good thing to have there. So if you open the box, the wheels will come in this little square of foam. There's no stickers in the box, which I thought was a little strange, but at the same time, there wouldn't be much room for stickers in this box. Just something to know. So eight millimeters by five millimeters. You may be thinking, like, what, what are those sizes meaning? What are those sizes mean? The size from bottom to top right there is eight millimeters. And the riding surface, the contact patch is five millimeters. So speaking of the contact patch, these wheels are very thin. Very thin. If I compare them to Oak uh, RV2Vs, which are sort of my, my go-to wheel, you can see that it's a much wider riding surface. Wow! Whereas the Oak RV2Vs are actually smaller than these. So the weight is about the same. They're just taller, which I like. And they also slide a little better because of the smaller contact patch. That's just physics. These are pretty big wheels for me. I, before, was using oak mediums, and I don't know what size they are, but from the looks of it, they're like, they're six millimeters, I'm guessing. These are eight millimeters, so these were very different for me. At first, I was, I was not a fan. They were very smooth, very smooth, smoother than the oaks I have, but I just couldn't get used to them. So over time, I started using them uh, with lower trucks, like taking out a bushing, and then I stopped using the little rubber riser pads. Eventually, I got used to them. They are awesome. I would highly suggest these. They roll super smooth. They roll super fast. The bearings are nice and straight in there. They're super easy to install because they're not squeezing the, the lock nut, which I find oaks do sometimes. They work with any trucks, pretty much. They don't hang up on the inside of the hanger. I know some wheels do that. They slide wonderfully because of the thin contact patch. And, and here's the big question. Do they... S I said, do they squeak? Dude, what are you doing? Fingerboarding, man. What? I'm just fingerboarding, you know, passing the time. You're being free right now. Uh, yeah? <laughs> what else would I be doing, man? Okay. Well, I guess that answers the question. Yes, they do squeak a lot, which I'm a big fan of. You may not be, but I love it. I like the wheels to be more realistic to a, to a regular skateboard. I like them to squeak a lot. 
I have Richter wheels on my real skateboard. Those are pretty loud wheels, so I, I really enjoy these ones. Maple Wheels has four sizes. They have the Pluto, the Ultra, the Shark, and the Bull. The Pluto is a seven millimeter wheel. That's the smallest one they offer. They have the Ultra, which is what I got. That's eight millimeters. That's sort of their, their standard wheel. And then they have the Shark wheel, which is, I, I think I said it before, if I didn't, here's a picture. Sort of based off of a real life longboard wheel. And that's just meant to ride smoother. I think it's really cool. Then they have the bowl, which is their big bowl wheels. They they roll faster, they roll smoother just because they're bigger. So I will show you a couple clips of me using these different types of tricks and hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, I have. 